welcome back everyone today's video is about how i replaced my y-axis motor which was giving a problem it was faulty i believe and i believe it's all the same for most of the 3d printers mine is nkb cobra 3 combo so that's what i try to do i press the home button so this is what happened just the print head was moving the build plate was moving at all the y-axis that's the error it gave. Vaxis homing failed. Turn off the printer and inspect Vaxis motor and drive before restarting. First of all, turn the knob to loosen the belt so that it becomes easy to take it out. But I had difficulty taking it out and I was afraid to damage the belt. So I tried a different method. Taking out the Vaxis motor first. Then the belt came out very easily. Just like that. This is the area where it was damaged and most of the damage I did myself. I was trying to take out the cable but couldn't so I used some pliers which was a bad idea and tried to pull it. I guess I made it even worse. And there was no way of coming back from that. This is what I was trying to do, like pull it very hard but nothing worked. So it was time to replace the motor with a new one. First of all, I cut the zip tie here. I had some extra zip ties which made me like easy to put everything back together again. So that's the new motor and the cable along with it. So that's the new one and that's the old one here. Maybe a, maybe different colors, but they're the same. Just checking if the new cable goes in, in and out properly. So that's in and out yeah that's perfect it works time to put the new motor in there the y-axis motor the belt in there and put all the screws back firm again make sure it's not loose and then connect cable the y-axis which came with the motor the new one and then put the zip tie back again here and then cut the extra now under the printer there's this thing like this cover when you take it out first take out the two screws and a cover here then i cut the two zip ties which were holding the cables here i cut the old cable from the y-axis motor so that i could pass it through the zip tie over here otherwise it was possible it has a tiny gap then i put another zip tie here right to that gap and just kept it loose, didn't tighten it so that I can pass the new cable through it. Then I cut the zip tie which was already there and put the new Z-axis motor cable and passed it to the zip tie which I just pinned there, the new one is loose. Then I just put the cable in the tiny hook so that it doesn't go here and there, it's all, everything stays in one place. Now this is the other end of the y-axis cable here I pull it out gently and try not to touch here or there and try not to damage anything I eventually got it out after some efforts and pulled the cable out completely and I brought the other end of the new cable the y-axis motor cable and connected it in its right place and then I tightened the zip tie which was loose since everything was done and then I just close the cover and put the two screws back in and also put the two zip ties back again to hold the cables and that's it and then I went back to testing to pressing the home button the print head was moving and the y-axis was also moving I finally managed I thought it was like very difficult but it was really easy to do it. It's great when you have another extra pair of hands, but I had to do it myself. But it was still great. And what I always do at the end of the video, print the benchy and it came out perfect, no problems. So that's how I fixed my issue with the Y axis. Thank you so much for watching. And I hope this video helps to anyone facing similar issues with their 3D printers and get back to 3D printing. Thanks for watching.